we said. Instead of first and goal inside the eight, it is second and 18 at the 28-yard line for Cal State Fullerton with 8.31 left in the game. The Titans down by 10. Gene Murphy got his money's worth during the timeout, though. Damon Allen has pits wide to the right side. Allen rolling right. Now the pitch out to Calhoun. Yep, Calhoun knocked down at the 28. Did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Gary Slinger, a defensive end, and Lee Hicks coming up from his free safety spot to make the stop for Northern Illinois. Gene Murphy spent most of the time out talking to the to the referee along with Lockett. Later tonight on many of these same stations, you'll see the Citrus Bowl from Florida with Tennessee and Maryland. All right, third down, 18. Cal State Fullerton, 7.56 left in the game. The Titans down by 10. They need a big play. Don't have to have one yet, but they need it. That's not going to be it. Shy of the first down, the reception by Allen Pitts, but he went to his knees at the 22. Steve Hirsch was over there for Northern Illinois. It is going to be fourth down and a field goal attempt. Greg Steinke, who had a field goal earlier today, is setting the tee at the 30-yard line near the left hash mark. The footing looks rather slippery there, Ken. It's going to be a 40-yard attempt, and he might slip when he plants the foot. Well, I, I have to wait for this Fullerton State team to kick the ball before I really believe it's going to be a, a field goal. <laughs> Keep your eye on Todd White, the holder, number 21. It will be a field goal attempt, and he has boomed it. It is long enough, but it's, and it's good. He got it. Oh, I was looking at Greg Steinke, and he looked like he, he, was, uh, he was holding his head as if he were not going to make it. I'm surprised. You read the same thing I did. So we have timeout now with 7.03 left in the game, and now a seven-point lead for Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois setting the deep receivers. Steinke will kick off for Cal State Fullerton. Ricky Mitchell is back deep, along with Joe Law and Rich Burns. Time left, 7.03. A lot of time. Now a seven-point lead as Stanky gets set to hit it. Ricky Mitchell, the man in the middle, sets up at the goal line for Northern Illinois. Very important position coming up for the Huskies now. Seven-point lead and perhaps a chance to kill some clock here. They need to grind it down. Stanky hits it well. Mitchell takes it two yards deep in the end zone. He's going to run it. Back up the middle. There's a flag down. He's across the 20 and across the 25 to the 29-yard line, but there's a flag down on the return. 11 plays, 54 yards. Five minutes and six seconds and a 40-yard field goal for Cal State Pendleton. Wade Lockett made the initial stop on the kick return. Northern Illinois is going to be penalized. I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a wedge set up as perfectly as Northern Illinois sets that wedge up. They get together and it looks like they drill on it every day. Well, now the Huskies are going to have to operate from their own 10 yard line. So the, the field position has turned around here. First down. Tim Terrell, the quarterback. If you look at the Northern Illinois sideline, Bill Mallory, the head coach. 6.57 left in the football game. The Huskies are out with double receivers wide left in an I formation. It is Lou Wicks with a handoff and nothing there for him. He's barely across the 10, maybe got a yard or two. Joe Aguilar and Andre Pineset, two tough defenders for Cal State Fullerton right there. We saw Coach Mallory yesterday. He's really chewing that gum, isn't he? But uh, that must be his game glasses. I don't remember him wearing those. He looked like he had a very nice pair of glasses on. They looked like an athletic pair of glasses. He must really get fired up. Changes yeah. his glasses. There's the other bench, Gene Murphy, the head coach from Cal State Fullerton. Second down eight. They gave him a gain of two on the play. Down at the 13-yard line. This will be a big third down play coming. And Cal State Fullerton turning this thing back around. It was Ron McLean, a defensive tackle, along with linebacker John Nevins to contain Terrell that time. And now the Huskies face a big third down. Third and eight. 
Back at their own 13 yard line. There has not been a turnover yet in this football game. Now well, this is a tough uh, call right here. What do you do? You, you've got to get that first down. You know that Fullerton State team is uh, extremely explosive and yet you don't want to put the ball up down in your territory. I don't think you will. You got to make the other team earn it. Third and eight. Terrell is going to throw it. Dumps it up the middle. Complete. Guess who? That's Lou Wicks, I believe, with the football. It is. Terry Hubbard, a linebacker, and Nevins, the other linebacker, made the stop, but Lou Wicks came up with the reception. And they are very, very close to first down yardage, and here comes a big measurement. Well, you know, when teams get together, it kind of destroys any theory you might have. I said, I didn't think he put the ball up, and the first thing he did, of course, he went and put it up. Tim Terrell throwing a pretty safe pass here to his fullback, Lou Wicks. Wicks has really played a whale of a game. About a half a foot short, probably. Yep. And it is. So the Huskies are going to have to give it up. I don't think it's much, it shouldn't <laughs> be much of a decision making process on the Huskies part. Darrell Richardson wants to go for it. <laughs> well, they're calling time out to talk it over. Ooh. I don't think. On their own 20 yard line with a seven point lead and 525 left in the game. Bill, don't even think about it. Kick the ball away, make them earn the points. You know, you, you hate to see, you know, the ball club wants to go for it. You never listen to football players when or you're playing fans. a football game. You've got to call that game. And, of course, but this is a different situation. It's a bowl game. You came to have fun. You're, everybody in the huddle says, hey, we can make it, Coach. And, of course, if they don't make it, they say, Coach, why would you call it? Todd Van Keppel, the punter, waiting to see if he gets the call. You know, you say, what difference does a bowl game make? They're going to they're gonna probably go for this. They are going for it. It looks like they're going to go for it. It is going to be fourth down and about a foot and a half. Oh, you talk about a gutsy call. There's the man, Bill Mallory, that made the decision. He brought him this far, 9-2 and two on the year. He has a seven-point cushion. The San Joaquin Valley loves the California ball. You talk about a gutsy call. I'm not so sure he won't change his mind before this thing is not. I'm not sure that I would say, even though he makes it, that I would think it was the best call he could have possibly made. They're going to go for it. Fourth and about a foot and a half. That's their own 20-yard line with 5.25 to play. Tim Terrell, the quarterback. Long count. Fullerton's not jumping. It's a quarterback keeper. He should have gotten close. it. He should have gotten it. Joe Aguilar, the nose guard. Ron McLean, the tackle, knocked him down. Terrell on the quarterback sneaks straight ahead. They needed about a foot and a half. The officials are looking it over. Should be a first down. They're going to measure it again. With 521 left in the game. If Northern Illinois turns it over, they'll turn it over at their 21. It looks like they may have it. You know, with that much time to go in the ball game is one of the big reasons why I don't know whether I'd want to give that ball uh, back at that position. It's a first down. Bill Mallory's color size just expanded by about six inches right there, I'll bet you. Well, I'm sure he was holding his breath for about five minutes. Well, guess what the first question will be asked in the postgame press oh, conference. You know it. <laughs> Never listen to football players when they tell you to do anything. First and ten. Huskies, 507, left in a football game. Big, big call, and it paid a dividend for Northern Illinois. This is Richardson, and he is knocked down immediately at the line of scrimmage by Terry Hubbard, a linebacker. Cal State Fullerton's defense fighting to get the football back. 4.52 left in the game. Northern Illinois with a seven-point lead, and we're going to see the same kind of finish we saw the first two years. Absolutely. Just a whale of a lot of time left, and you can bet if Cal State Fullerton can get that ball back and by some hook or crook get it to score, there's not going to be any conversion attempt. It's going to be a two-point attempt because they came to win at any, any time, and Chris Gene Murphy, that's the way he plays. Spiker wide to the left side. Aikens wide right. Terrell with his backs in the eye. Second down, 10, long count. Terrell wants to throw it. Does complete to Greg Spiker up at the 36 yard line. That's a first down. Mark Collins, the cornerback, knocked him out of bounds, but a big reception by Craig Spiker and a big first down for Northern Illinois. Let's go down to the sideline. Steve Grad standing by, Steve. Now what? The Husky band went all the way from DeKalb. Villas, was it worth it to come to Fresno? All they can do on the sidelines to encourage the Huskies. <laughs> Fred? Thank you, Steve. Four minutes left in the football game. 
First and 10, Northern Illinois. Up across the 40 to the 43-yard line before Mark Pembroke could make the stop on Lou Wicks. What a day Lou Wicks has had. Well, Tuffy right there needs some help. Clock running 341. Welcome <laughs> to California, now go home. <laughs> Welcome, keep out. Now that, that catch by Spiker could be the play of the game. It's at the 43 yard line now, and even if Northern has to kick it away, they should come out of it with good field position. Second down three. Spiker's in motion. Again the eye, and again Lou Wicks gets the call, and he's shy of the first down up around the 44 yard line. John Nevins and Terry Hubbard, the linebackers, along with Joe Aguilar, the nose guard on the tackle. We talked about John Nevins a little earlier in the program. Tough kid, still carrying a bullet. Watch him. He puts his head up in there and he hits. He wants it bad. They need two more quick plays. You remember Gene Murphy used a timeout earlier in this quarter. Third and two, Northern Illinois. Two minutes, 42 seconds left in the football game. Big play, big that is play. Be shy of the first down, I believe. John Nevins and McLean were there. Well, wait till they unpile and see where they spot the football. Joe Aguilar was there again, too. Wicks very close to but shy of the first down. They're spotted shy of the 45. So it's going to be fourth down. John and Nevins down. rising to the occasion. And now Bill Mallory takes the opportunity when he's got the ball in better field position to punt it away. Todd we're, Van Keppel. We're in for another one. <laughs> Hang tough. Todd Van Keppel is going to punt it. Now we have a whistle blowing, stopping the clock with a minute 57 left in the game. They're just used every second that they could. Cornelius Reddick is set for the run back. I'm not sure you wanted to, to use those those yards up right there. I uh, I can't believe that's what exactly what Bill Mallory wanted to have happen. That's dead ball. 157. Again, Corn, Corn Reddick is deep. Todd Van Keppel has been an outstanding kicker all year long for Northern Illinois will kick it away 157 left in the game Northern Illinois with a seven point lead California Bowl three Keppel hits it end over end Reddick is going to take it on a big bounce at the 20 he has hemmed in and dropped at the 25 yard line and the Titans are 75 yards away time out here with a minute 48 left in this football game Northern Illinois 20 Cal State Fullerton 13 is our score. Come away. What are you doing? I've had it. I'm quitting. But I still need 30 copies of this report. Report copies, chart copies, graph copies. I'm a slave to that lousy copy. Yet. Not anymore. This way, gentlemen. Now look here, Shumway. The new automated desktop copier from Toshiba. The BD7812. The one with the automatic document feeder. You just load in a stack of originals, set it, and forget it. I like that. It also reduces and enlarges, and you can get an optional soda. Wow! It practically runs itself. I think I'll stay. Come to think of it, Chumway. Yeah. Who needs you? Oh, please. Oh, reconsider. Come on. Give me a break, will you? The Toshiba BD7812, the new automated copier that practically runs itself. Hello? I was just being rich. All right. Well, whatever you say. For more information on the Toshiba BD7812, call 1-800-457-7777, operator 20. We're back in Fresno, Cal Bowl 3, coming down to the wire again. A minute 48 left in the game. Northern Illinois up by 7. Cal State Fullerton 75 yards away from getting the football game tied. There's the story. If this isn't the most exciting bowl in the country, I don't know what's going to be. This is the third straight Hang on. We're going to see it again. I'm going to tell you that they're going to put the ball up. Sam Pruitt wide to the right side. Pitts wide to the left side. Allen throwing quickly. Incomplete intended for Allen Pitts. It'll be second and ten. Steve Hirsch, the cornerback, over defending that time. One down means nothing at this time in the ball game. Everything's a four down situation. They're going for it all the way. Allen Pitts showing a lot of courage today. In fact, all of the Fullerton State receivers, very courageous group of people going after the, the ball wherever it's thrown in the middle with people around them. Corn Reddick comes wide to the right side. 
Allen pits wide left. Split the running backs. Whaley and Lewis. They'll make it Gerhardt and Lewis. Excuse me. Quick throw. That's complete at the 32-yard line. It'll be shy of the first down. It's going to be third and three or four. Patton McAvoy making the tackle that time on Allen Pitts. Clock running. A minute 30 left in the football game. Third down two. Cal State Fullerton with a decision to make on the call here. They're going to throw it on third and two. Damon Allen back. Fires to the sideline. Incomplete. Intended for Roy Lewis and a little bit too tall for him over there. That was here. a tough play. Jeff Sanders delivers a blow for Northern Illinois. This, put, uh, this puts Fullerton State in a real tough situation. Damon Allen just lets the ball slip out of his hands a little bit. He gets up. Here and he gets crunched. Well, this is a ball game. It's fourth down, three and a half. With a minute 16 left. You got to get the first down. Nothing makes any difference if you don't make the first down. Look for something short, possibly to the tight end or the back. Double receivers wide to the left side. Damon Allen with one last chance to pull it out for Cal State Fullerton has protection throws. First down. Across catch. the 40 to 42, and it was Allen Pitts that brought it down before Lee Hicks could stop him. Big catch by Allen Pitts, and Cal State Fullerton still alive at their own 41. With a minute 10 left in the game, they have the first down. They're going to go in a hurry up offense. Damon Allen with Pitts wide to the right side now. Straight back to throw. Fire. Wait, a gain of five. Jeff Sanders making the stop on the far sideline at the 46 yard line and the clock stops with 57 seconds left in the game. Good play by Roy Lewis getting out of bounds to stop that clock. 57 seconds left to go. Fulton State reaching in their grab bag of tricks. They got plenty of time to get the ball down the field. Two timeouts left. Out of the huddle, Cal State Fullerton. Second down six at their own 46. Allen has Wade Lockett wide right. Roy Lewis, the tailback, is going to throw. Now he's going to run. He's at the 50 and across to the 48-yard line, shy of the first down. It'll be third and a yard or two for Cal State Fullerton. The clock stops with 48 seconds left. Sheldon Sobel made the tackle for Northern Illinois. So the excitement continues here. Third and a yard at midfield. You've got two downs to play with. Do you go for it here, then try for the first down or get the first down first? We'll I'm out. glad I'm not making that call for you. <laughs> no. That's a toughie. That it really is. We'll find out. Damon Allen puts him down. Third and a short yard. They're going to go for it. Oh. On this play, he's and open it for put. Incomplete at the 10 yard line, and no flag falls. Rick Considine was back for Northern Illinois. They went for James Pruitt at the 10 and misconnected with 42 seconds left. It'll be fourth and a short yard. Damon Allen airs it out about 45 yards in the air. James Pruitt almost makes a great catch. Rick Considine comes over, coming over to break it up, but Damon Allen took quite a hit after the catch, too. Fourth down. Need that first down right now. This is another tough call. What do you do? Front goes wide left. Redick is wide right. Gerhardt the fullback. Lewis the tailback in the eye. Fourth and less than a yard. 42 seconds left in the game. And it is going to be Allen squirting loose. He has stopped, and Northern Illinois will take it over. Jeff Sanders, the cornerback with help from Sheldon Sobel, who's had an outstanding game for Northern Illinois. Just took the football away from Cal State Fullerton with 35 seconds left in the game. Damon Allen made a great fake on the handoff and tried to stay alive, but they finally brought him down, and there's Bill Mallory applauding the play. He's pretty excited at this point. He still won't allow himself the luxury of feeling like it's over because it's never over till it's over, has been said many times before. Damon Allen would like to have that call back. I think he lost track of the time and situation in the ball game. He needed to get that first down. It was all over with. I think it looked like there was some, some confusion on the assignment on the play. All right, 35 seconds left, first and 10, Northern Illinois. 
just inside the 50. Carroll's going to down the football. Back at the 43, 30 seconds left in the game. The clock is running, and Cal State Fullerton will spend a timeout right here to kill the clock. 27 seconds left. And Cal Bowl 3 has been all the Cal Bowls 1 and 2. Were. It certainly has. I don't know how in the world they match these teams up so uh, so well. They don't, they don't play each other during the season, but the conferences just seem to match up so well. 27 seconds left in the game. Tim Terrell coming to the near side to talk to his coach Bill Mallory. Not much mystery about what they're going to do, Ken. No, there's not. Uh, they've got their safety man back there to keep uh, keep anybody who might pick up a fumble. Steve Grad is on the sideline. Let's join him, Steve. <laughs> Doug Bartlett, you guys held him when you had to, and uh, congratulations on a good defensive game by Northern. It was a good game. We could have played better. We can always play better, but. Uh, we're happy we won. That's what we came to do, and we did it. Damon Allen isn't easy to contain, yet when you had to do it, they were throwing those bombs. You put the pressure on. Yeah, it was tough. I was getting knocked around. You know, those guards and, and centers are pretty tough. They just knock you around, but, you know, you got to get back up and come after them. Doug Bartlett, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve Grad. There's your clock. 27 seconds left in the game. And again, Terrell just falls down. Cal State Fullerton is out of timeouts, and there's nothing they can do about it now. And there goes the Titan mascot. That pretty well tells the story. I think Tuffy is uh, letting us have a message. The Huskies have won it. They know it. The Titans can't stop the clock. It is winding down. Cal Bowl 3 has come to an end. And Northern Illinois has defeated Cal State Fullerton 20-13. to Ah, nothing like that victory ride. Bill Mallory brought this team into this into this bowl game the first time they've been there since the 1960s 9 2 record during the regular season built on a strong defense and I think if anything probably shaped this game in the second half was the consistency and the power of that defense started to exert itself you know you can only cover up a lack of manpower but for a short period of time and eventually the strength uh, of that Northern Illinois team started taking over. There's your final score at Cal Bowl 3, Northern Illinois 20, Fullerton State 13.